Good Erev Shabbos, Parshas Truma. The Torah tells us uh, in this week's Parsha of the construction of the Mishkan, as well as the vestments of the Kohen, uh, of the Kohen Gadol in particular. And one of the vestments is the Choshen Mishpat, uh, the breastplate. And on the Choshen Mishpat, uh, there were Avne Miluim. These Avne Miluim were gemstones, each of which represented one of the Shvatim, one of the tribes of Klal Yisrael. Now, what does this term, Avne Miluim, actually mean? Uh, and there is some debate as to why these gemstones are called Avne Miluim. Each gem to- gemstone, representing one of the tribes, should, in fact, just be described as a gemstone. Uh, aren't each one of the tribes gems and each member of Klal Yisrael a gem, a beauty? And instead of referring to uh, describing uh, the, the, the gemstones simply as gemstones, the Torah goes out of its way to describe these gemstones as avne miluim. So what does this term avne miluim actually mean? As one might expect, uh, there is uh, some measure of dispute as to how to understand this term. Some suggest avne miluim means the stones from the word male to fill, to fill a gap. That is to say that on the breastplate, the Choshen Mishpa, the breastplate of the Kohen Gadol, uh, there there were um, receptacles, uh, a a setting in which you insert the gemstone. Like uh, if a person has uh, uh, an engagement ring or a diamond ring, and you have a setting for the ring. So similarly, this Choshen Mishpa, this breastplate, was, uh, uh, was crafted to have 12 uh, uh, settings that uh, the gemstones would be inserted. And so the term Avne Miluim means that, you're, that these gemstones are there to fill a void. Um, and this, of course, raises the obvious question, why, is the, why are these gemstones defined in the negative? By, uh, by the void that they are filling. But in fact, it's not defined in, in the negative because the purpose of each Shevet and the purpose of each Jew is in fact to fill their mission in life. And without every single individual, there would be a void, an irreplaceable void. You, me, each of us, each of us is significant. Each of us is important. Each of us fills a void. As Rav Kook famously taught, uh, based on a tefillah that we say on the Yom Im Noraim, um, before I came into this world, uh, I was nothing. And now that I've come into this world, uh, what am I? Uh, in essence, uh, we, we, we pray. And Rav Kook says that when we make this, when we state this prayer, this tefillah on the Yom Im Noraim, we are in essence affirming to ourselves that before we were born, We had no mission. We were not uh, needed. But now that we are born, now that we are in this world, that we exist, the world cannot live without us. Each person is important. Each person is significant. You fill a void, an irreplaceable void. And without you, the world would not be complete. This is the divine plan, that you are here at this point, in this place, at this time, in order to in in order to uh, to contribute what you individually and only you can contribute uh, to the world to uh, and to, to and to society. So on one hand, Avne Milua means the stones, the gemstones that fill a void. There's a second approach, and that is that the gemstones are Avne Miluim from the lashon, the, the meaning Malay, which means whole, which means full. That is to say that the gemstones were whole and complete. They did not require any, uh, any type of shaving or cutting by, uh, by, by a gemstone cutter. The, they were whole and complete and full and did not require anything to perfect them. And as such, they perfectly represent each shevet in Klal Yisrael and each person in Klal Yisrael. Because... On, a, on, on, on some level, even though we are all imperfect, at our core, the neshama, elokai neshama shenasatabi, the soul that Hashem has given and dwells within me, as far as I stray, as far as I go, whatever mistakes I might make in life, 
at the end of the day, my soul remains ca- uh, cast within me, unsullied, unblemished, perfect, and whole. And the challenge that I have in life is for me to be able to access that wholeness, that perfection, that unsullied and uncontaminated portion of who I am. And in doing so, to enable me to live a more perfect life, a more refined life, a more wholesome and whole life. So whatever we do in life, and none of us are perfect on the outside, none of us are perfect completely in the actions and decisions that we take. But that can sometimes lead to a sense of self-doubt and a, 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 and a lack of, uh, of trust in, a, a lack of self-esteem. And to feel that we are less than and that we do not measure up and that we cannot and that we are unable. And all of those negative words that we tell, the stories that we tell ourselves that prevent us from doing more and doing better. But the Torah tells us that we are Avne Miluim, that each Shevet and each person within each Shevet is a whole and complete stone that needs nothing more to perfect itself other than to be itself. All we need to be perfect is to be ourselves. Yes, we have to grow. Yes, we have to continue to develop. But the one thing that we don't have to change is to, the one thing we don't have to do is to change our essential selves. Hashem made you who you are and not somebody else. You are a Malay. You are whole and complete and perfect just as you are, just as you truly are. And the challenge that we have is not simply is not simply to look at ourselves uh, uh, by the beauty of the gemstones in the exterior, but look at ourselves and to try to access the core self, the true self, Elokai Nishama Shinasatabi, the unsullied, the uncontaminated, the pure me. And for some of us, that's a lifetime's journey, but it is certainly a job that is worth uh, that is worth taking. And finally, there is a third approach to Avne Miluan. Avne Milua means the gemstones that are full or whole or complete, Malay from the word fill. That is to say <clears throat> that these gemstones fill the entire Choshen. The breastplate is entirely filled with these gemstones. And any one gemstone that is missing is not just a void uh, for itself, but actually impacts all the other gemstones. Because this Choshen, this uh, this beautiful um, construct is now in, is now incomplete. It means to say that we are part that each shevet is part of a greater whole, is part of a greater tapestry, and that is what makes us truly a gem. When we stand on our own, when we stand as individuals, when we are one shevet and one shevet and one shevet, we're as good as we can possibly be. But what makes us truly uh, uh, truly gemstones? True beauty, true the, fu- the true fullness of who we are, is to understand that we are part of something bigger, part of something greater. And only together can we fill the entire space properly and bring it to its uh, full vitality. That's Avne Miluam. So we are Avne Miluam. Each of us fills a void. Each of us has a mission in life. We are Avne Miluam. We are whole and we are complete. And we have to be ourselves and nobody else. And we are Avne Miluim, we are Avanim, we are gemstones, we are beautiful because we are part of something greater. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bless us each and all of us together to fulfill our role as Avne Miluim. Good Shabbos.